may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. I got a little bit later. Usually on Sunday night, I listen to J.D. Farag. He had a really good service tonight. Uh, if you uh, want to hear a really good service, go on to, uh, I tell you to go on to the uh, the website, jdfarag.com, uh, I do believe it is. And uh, you get the whole show in its entirety. What you do is go look for the, let's see... Let me look. Prophecy update. That's what you look for. Look for the prophecy update when you scroll down, and it'll show you the videos, and then click on it. Tonight was really good. He talked about the Temple Mount and how close that they are already in the process of cutting the stone for it. So it's a very, you want to know truly just how close we are. As J.D. Frog says, and I've said it many times here, Israel's the time clock. Our hand, Jerusalem, second hand is the Temple Mount. I was taught that from the time I was young, so does Sister Shelley. Her family taught her the same. That's how you know, because the tribulation is them. Ground zero for the tribulation is there. All of it revolves around Israel, nowhere else. No America, no China, no Russia. It all revolves around Israel, just like it's building up today. That's why you see that. That's why I tell you to get excited, people. There, uh, Israel is literally on the tongues of every human being on this planet, just like Jesus said they would be right before he's coming to get his church. We're going to leave. He's going to pull us out. And then he's going to deal with Israel. And they, in the seven years, three and a half years in, the Antichrist is going to be revealed after we're gone. He cannot be revealed until we're gone. Anybody tells you any different? That's not scripture. We leave. Holy Spirit is gone. The Antichrist comes on scene. He cannot come on a scene as long as the church is here and the Holy Spirit's here. He cannot, okay? We leave. He is revealed, okay? Chaos upon the earth. Three and a half years in. And we know now it will take them... I think, I think around 90 days to rebuild the temple. Yes, I did say that correctly, 90 days. They've got everything. They've got the Levi's trained. They've got everything they need. It's all there. There's nothing holding them back except the Antichrist to give them the green light. And they're waiting on their Messiah, which they say he's at the door, and he is. Their Messiah is the Antichrist. That's who they're looking for is the Antichrist at this moment. He will come in and he's the one that's going to tell them, you take the Tuesday solution. If you take it and you give Palestine, that's why all this is on everybody's tongues. That's why it's all set up for Bible prophecy. You take the Tuesday solution and we'll give you the Temple Mount. Sign me up. That's what they're going to do. They'll get their Temple Mount back because it's all Bible prophecy. They'll get it, rebuild it, in 90 days, and three and a half years in, guess what? He will call himself God. They'll realize he's not their Messiah, that they messed up. Jesus was their Messiah, and they'll call up on him. And they'll, they'll go to Petra in Jordan. That's where they'll go. They'll be protected for three and, the, three and a half years. God will keep Lucifer and all his minions off of them. They won't be able to touch them. And that remnant will be saved. And that's the remnant that will call out on Jesus to rescue them, and he will. And they will come into the fold, okay? That's how this is all going. But you notice that it's all set up right now. Everything you're seeing in the world that's happening revolves around Israel. 
all of it. That's, there's a reason because we're about to leave. And that, that, if that don't get you excited and know how close we are, I don't know what to tell you. Now, the Supreme Leader of Iran, uh, Anatolia, tweets in Hebrew that Israel has erred in its repri- reprisal strikes, okay? Told you, Pandora's box, you can't be shut. It's going to keep going. How do I know that? Scripture. Yesterday morning on Iran, we will soon understand Tehran's strength. The Zionist regime make a mis- made a mistake. It aired in calculations on Iran. Raised the tweet posted on his new Hebrew language account on X. We will cause it to understand what kind of strength, ability, and initiative we will uh, we will the Iran nation has. Uh, somebody might want to hand him a Bible because he's going to need one. But ain't going to be able to find one where he's going. If he don't turn himself around, that is for sure. We always pray that all of them turn themselves around before it's too late. All right. Let's see what else. If you're on Telegram, make sure you have Keegan Fernandez and Marty's 2-Minute Warning. They keep you updated on everything that moves in this country with the election, everything that people's talking about, all of it. They're keeping you updated, okay? They they know what we know. The sun, there's a lot of things happening now. There's a lot of reports tonight, and I dove into it. Now, we had these reports back in 2020, but uh, I, I didn't want to just fall for them again, so I wanted to check and see how legitimate they was. But I've been hearing this chatter for about 24 hours that a lot of the officials in Washington, D.C. are getting out of range. They're getting out of Washington, Okay. Now, we, the more I dove into it, the more I did find that a lot of them are, are getting out of a Dodge for the first, uh, well, you know what day that is, on election. We don't want to say too much because they'll get us, okay? But we do see that a lot of these officials are getting out of Dodge. Why? Do they know something? Very Well, of course they do. They've been playing this since they took office this, this last time. As I said, they passed a horrendous thing on the 27th of September. They would never have passed that. Listen to me. I know people are just so deceived in the last days. And Jesus said, don't be deceived. Don't let yourself be deceived. Because you've got to let yourself be deceived. Do not be deceived. These people are not telling you the truth. All these politicians, they lie for power, including the T-Man. They all do it. These people are completely fooled by these people. These people are not of God. Okay? They are not of God. I will repeat this one more time. They are not of God. Okay? Both parties want to divide Israel down the middle. They're part of the two-state solution. Trump's team is the one to come up with it. These people are not of God. Anybody that tells you they are, you're being fooled. Okay? Not saying it to be mean, but there comes a time when people's going to have to choose man or Jesus. The choice is yours. I choose Jesus. People tell me I have to make a choice between Jesus and these people. Now, let me tell you something. They're going to lose because it's Jesus. It's not people. Okay? It's not this country. Okay? It's not. When it comes between God and this country or anything else, I'm going to choose God. You can do whatever you want, but I know better. I know scripture, and I know better. And I know God does not put his fingerprint on anything that divides Jerusalem because that is exactly what he says you shouldn't do. They will do it, and they will be cut to pieces. But all these parties and all these governments around the world, their their solution is to divide Jerusalem. I will not have my signature on it. I know better. These churches can tell you to do whatever they want, but let me tell you something. They will have to be held accountable. Today, the people always try to make you make a choice between Jesus and politics or this the countries or this or that. Not me, honey. I will choose Jesus. You will never convince me otherwise. I don't care what you say about me. It ain't going to bother me one little bit. Not at all. You can say whatever you want, but I've got to face Jesus. I'm responsible for me. You're responsible for you. Good luck to you is all I can tell you. 
because I know what scripture says about dividing Jerusalem. My signature won't be on it. Before I was ignorant, I really was. I didn't know that. I didn't know these things that I know now after God woke me up on October the 24th on the 20, uh, 2022. I do now. I could play ignorant back then. I can't play ignorant now. And thank goodness that the Lord woke me up because I was a moron. I truly was. I loved Israel, supported them, but I didn't even realize I was signing Jerusalem over by voting for these people. And they won't fool me again. Okay. I don't care what people say, how much they get mad. I love Jesus, honey, and I will choose him over you every day of the week. It will never change. But back to what we were talking about, these people leaving. Tonight, around 4, or not tonight, today, about 4.55, lots of planes started bugging out of there. The doomsday planes and all these different planes started flying out of Washington, D.C. and headed towards the west. We don't know why. Emergency action messages have been going off tonight, but they, they kind of kept this really quiet. But for some reason, they started getting out of there. I don't know why. But it's something else we need to watch because, like I said, we're seeing a lot of things that don't add up. And like I told you, we don't know if, what's, if that day is going to go through or not. But what I will tell you is keep your eyes on Jesus. And no matter what, do this. We know he's coming here because of what's happening with Israel. There are the time clock. So we know we're leaving here. So just keep your eyes open and trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. Don't take our word for it. Don't take nobody's word for it right now because you can't really trust anybody. I'm telling you. Okay, have everything confirmed with Jesus. I will tell you a dream. I, I dozed off tonight. I got, I just, I was just, I don't know why, but I saw my sister. She's been gone for a long time, but I was talking to her like it was, it was so real. I haven't heard her voice in so many years, but I heard her voice so clearly. And then I heard my mother on the phone and I asked her, I said, mom, are you here? And she said, yes, Chris, I, I'm here. And when I saw it, I saw a loaf of bread. I knew what that meant. It means the harvest is coming. So let me tell you something. Right now, people's going to tell you and discourage you, but that's not what we do here. I'm here to tell you the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for his bride. And you're going to live for eternity in peace and never have to deal with these things ever again. The rapture is any moment. This world is going to burn. But you will not. Those who trust in Jesus and the blood and what he shed on that cross and he died and he rose again on that third day, no death and burial could hold him down. Can I get an amen? And he is coming back for his church. He is coming back on that sky and he is going to part it like you have never seen. And he's going to pull you up and you are going to live in eternity with him in peace and joy like you have never seen. You think anything down here was a good moment. You ain't seen nothing of one, even one second about what you're about to find when it finds you. There ain't nothing down here. No matter how many great memories you have will never even equal to one second with Jesus. And that is what you're about to receive. You just hang in there because I'm telling you, Jesus will part that sky any day now, and you will be going home. And I'm going to be here to remind you of that until we're gone. You can't get rid of me. I'm not going nowhere until Jesus calls me home just like he does you. But I'm here to remind you that our Father, <clears throat> no death and burial could hold him down. And he is coming back to get his bride any day now. So you get excited. Don't you put that head down one minute because, oh, it's about to get good. Really good. I can promise you that because the word of God tells me so. All righty. See what else we got on tap here. Ukraine people in military uniforms uh, broke into a church and attacked Orthodox Christians. This has been going on a lot. We've been seeing the Orthodox Christians being attacked so much in Ukraine. And so many of them being shot and different things. So there's a lot of that happening, not just there. Churches are being burnt all over the world. These are all signs of how little time we have left to get people on the ark, as I'm, 
as we're talking, the time clock just keeps on ticking, okay? Keeps on ticking. Not much more time. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Let's see. Just trying to browse through, see if I see anything on Telegram that we might have missed. Just to make sure. Looks like Yemen got them some un, unmanned submarines. That's great for the Red Sea to sink more ships. The world is at war, people. It is definitely a war. It is everywhere. All right. South Korea and U.S. hold emergency talks among foreign defense chiefs in Washington on Halloween. Is that interesting? That, that is really close to blowing up, just like the Middle East. It's very close. These are all, it's like on every front of every country. Like I said, it will blow up, but we're going to be part, we're going to leave right when it happens. Syria explosions has been reported in the U.S. occupation bases in the Al Amar oil field in the, uh, the Azar province. So I guess they're attacking that U.S. base. They have a couple of bases there in Syria. I think maybe five or six of them, I think. Russia, at least 10 U, uh, Ukraine UAVs have been launched in an attack on an alcohol distillery. That's almost hilarious. In the uh, district of Vares, resulting in huge fires on the uh, compound. Uh, sick Ukraine NATO have attacked at least three alcohol distilleries in one week. Uh, I'm not, I don't even know how to, I won't even touch it. By the way, the Russian army is moving each day faster towards defensive lines of the uh, NATO army. Listen to this. Trump says Americans who don't support him are enemies that must be dealt with. They are indeed the enemy from within. That's not a god. I don't care what anybody says. If you think either party is of God, you're mistaken. Choose Jesus, not a politician. They're, they're liars and they're evil. Hitler has also said that those who are against him, including generals, are, are enemies within. It's true. He did quote that. He did quote that. I'm just telling you. Politicians will tell you anything. They will lie. If we haven't learned that as a society, I don't know what. Are we that desperate to get four years of anything to just sustain this earth another four years, to live here another four years? Have we got that desperate that we're willing to sell our souls? I mean, really? Because that's where we're at. And it's, it's pretty disgusting. I'll be honest with you. That people have not learned in this amount of time, that's because they're brainwashed to believe politicians. You can't brainwash me. It ain't going to happen. I was there, and then Jesus woke me up. That ain't coming back. I see the lies that they live, and it ain't happening. Don't be fooled, as Jesus said. Don't let yourself be fooled. The World Bank has misplaced an astonishing $41 billion and climate change funds. That's interesting. Which uh, billions unaccounted for. Investigators found no clear public record to tell them where the money went. It went to the elites. Man, I'm not even on that team. I just saved them a whole ton of money looking. Saved them a whole ton of money. But I won't get any royalties from it. I don't think so. All right, let's see what else we got here. Covered all that. All right. Deadly floods and landslides leave 42 dead and dozens missing in the Philippines. 
We've also seen record flooding in Paris. Like, and it's funny because Macron, that literally did this thing against Israel, as soon as he did it, Paris saw the worst flooding in their history. I mean, literally, the streets of Paris was rivers like it was in the North Carolinas, okay? Washing people away. Right after he did this, people don't see the signs. You go against it. As he said, you bless the Jews, you'll be blessed. If you go against them, it won't be good for you. I mean, the people that try to use that and also use this reverse, like this uh, replacement theory, it's not going to work out very, very well for them because we're grafted in to that line, okay? Anybody tells you any different, that's a lie from Satan. Anybody tells you they're not real, they're not the real Jews, that's a lie from Satan. And if you believe that, you're being deceived. And if you keep believing it and you refuse to hear it, you've been handed over to a reprobate mind. Only until you call upon Jesus and, ha and ask and ask him to save you, will that blindness be lifted? And then it will be lifted. If you truly want to see, if we're grafted in, all you got to do is ask Jesus. He'll tell you. You just got to want it. But if you keep fighting, you're literally going to be handed over to a reprobate mind. That's what's going to happen. All right. Russia to seize income from frozen Western uh, assets, from uh, the finance minister says. Remember, we talked about this other day that they're stealing Russia money. That's what they're doing. They're stealing it. These was money that was held here that they did business with America, and that money was held. You know, I don't matter which way you look at it, it was stealing. Well, now they're going to do the same thing to us. They had, remember, we had McDonald's there, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, all those different companies. Well, their assets was still in Russia. Well, now they're taking it. So it's just eye for an eye now. More reports coming out of China or out of Taiwan that more and more surveillance and uh, planes coming into their airspace and more ships surrounding them daily. China's definitely up to something. A, a law as same as North Korea, with South Korea. I believe, as we always talk about this simultaneous, I think it will all happen simultaneously, that when Russia or whoever's calling the thing, if it's China, when they all say go, they're all going to go at the same time. And I do believe the day before or that time is when we leave, is when they finally say, okay, this is it, let's go. I still believe a red flag is coming to this country. I think the 9-11 event, I've been saying it for months, God gave it to me. Has something to do with America and UK, and it hasn't happened yet. We're still watching for it. It hasn't taken place yet, but we're still watching. God has given us plenty of warnings to look for, and we're here. God told me about Dublin before Dublin and the Scottish ever even come to my head. I never even, I don't even follow that. But now they're in every news article I could find after that happened. All these things are definitely what we call time markers about where we are. As J.D. Farag was saying tonight, that literally the Temple Mount could be rebuilt in 90 days and they're already in the process of cutting the stone. It's already a go. And the Antichrist, we will be moved and then he will come in and give them that Temple Mount back. That's how close we are, people. It's any time. Okay. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died and was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. Have everything confirmed through him. We live in a very dangerous time, just like Jesus said. <clears throat> we want to thank all of you all for basically being part of the family, uh, giving us, uh, sending us information from your dreams and visions. We appreciate all that. Once again, that is not me in the comments, uh, replying, asking for money through comments. We don't do that through comments at all. We, we don't even ask for donations. We thank those who do. They, they donate through PayPal, super stickers and buy me coffees. Those who want to, it's there. We appreciate all those who have today. We appreciate all that because them goes into Bibles and much more that we do to, Try to get as much gospel out there before the tribulation starts. We know we're at the last seconds here. 
Israel is the timepiece. We're at the very end, okay? I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.